Hi everyone, today I will speak English, but don't worry, there will be subtitles in Russian. I'm in a calm spot at the Royal Canal, where I would like to spend some time sharing my thoughts about winter fishing for pike. And at the same time, I would like also to do some actual fishing. I'm not sure if I tell you something that you do not know yet by yourself, but anyway, I will share my experience and knowledge with you that I have achieved in the last few years while fishing and filming pike underwater in Ireland. I brought a small set of lures, those I trust. So let's walk along the canal and talk in details about how winter pike fishing works in Ireland. But I think these rules can be uh, applied to any place, country or territory or even to different fish as well. I was thinking to show you something from my previous recordings, but all my footage is located on many hard drives, more than 20 in total, with a total size of more than 30 terabytes, which makes a search very time consuming. So in the description below the player, I will add links to some of my videos where you can watch what I will talk about today. Now I will switch to my point of view camera and we start fishing. Well, that's how it's going to work. <laughs> I've done this many times. And we go with this camera along this canal. I might just drive to the opposite side and park car a little bit away because there is a bridge, people fishing, then less people fishing, then more fish you can find. So let's go. I drove about a half of kilometer away from the spot when I started because this area is this area is less accessible to fishermen so hopefully there are more pike left here and this is my rod I'm going to use today it's very strong, the strongest I have the test it's, it was made by Westing I showed it already the test is uh, 40 130 grams I usually use it for trolling or for casting, cast very big lures. And today I have some really big lures. Let's look quickly what I have today. That's my new bag. Fancy and beautiful. I'll make it dirty. What is? Oh yeah. Yeah. So here is what I have today. And not all of my lures. Far not all. Some of them got tangled already. The box is a little bit too small. So I think I think I start from Tommy the Trout. 25 centimeters. Quite heavy lure, and I caught really nice size spike on Loch Dirk on this lure. Then we'll try something else. But this rod should handle it well. I have very strong, very strong leader, strong snap, something is very strong. Because I don't want leaf pike with hooks in its mouth okay one treble hook
which I one treble hook but I moved it to the middle of the lure I'll tell about this a little bit later when we start fishing why I've done that so let's go to try I don't have big expectations I also have dead baits in the car a couple of small dead baits but I decided to start from lures if I catch nothing on lures I switch to dead baits the canal unfortunately is too low anyway we'll try this heavy Jesus Christ this heavy lure This is a monster. But this rod handles it well. Ooh. I think I need to walk a little bit away, too much of grass here. What is that? Looks like fish eggs. Possibly. Forecast promised the sun in a couple of hours. We'll see. Okay, let's try here. Wow. It's a little bit too heavy. So, as I just mentioned, the cold season has arrived in Europe again, including Ireland. Right now it's the middle of January, and last night we had frost, and some parts of the canal got frozen. But the weather in Ireland changes very quickly. As people say, you can see four seasons in one day. This morning, was really bright and frosty and when I was leaving house I saw ice but when I arrived as you can see everything disappeared there is some ice on the canal but it's cloudy not too cold maybe plus five and it looks like it's going to rain but according to the forecast We'll get sun again, maybe a couple of hours later. That's how it works now. So what does it mean to all living creatures, cold and winter? To humans, not much, because they have been quite well prepared all along. We have houses where we can turn heating on warm cloth in our wardrobes, which we can put on and stores with food available 365 days a year so we are definitely prepared and protected there is a different story with wildlife although it is also going through major seasonal changes but if some creature hasn't managed to change quickly enough or to adapt properly it simply can die from cold and the lack of food which is obvious and many creatures are dying 